Hi, my name is Glenn Cardwright. I'm a certified horticulturist and the nursery manager here at the Glass House Nursery, 56 Creek Road in Chatham. Today I want to talk to you about planting pot-grown trees and shrubs. Now most of the trees and shrubs you find in nurseries these days are grown in a pot. That means from the time they were a seedling or a little cutting, they've grown in the pot. Every time they get bigger, they move them from one pot to the next largest size. These plants have never been in the ground, unlike nursery-grown stock that's dug in the spring. The advantage of that is when you buy a pot grown tree or plant, the entire root system is in that pot. You see that? This little uh, Korean lilac shrub is pot grown. The entire root system is in this pot. That means when you transplant it, there's no root loss and consequently there's no setback or very little setback in terms of transplanting. Now, whenever you plant, you should always use some sort of organic matter when planting in the ground. In this case, we're going to use some expand and grow. The easiest way to do that is, you, in the planting area, take your organics. It can be something like, we're using expand and grow today, but you can use uh, peat moss, you can use compost, composted sheet manures, nincompoop, anything that has organic matter in it is what you're looking for. Spread the organics on the ground in the area where you're going to plant. A nice enough one or two inch thick layer. And then we're going to dig this in. Okay, so we spread some ex expand and grow on top of the soil we're going to plant. What we want to do next is we want to dig this in as thoroughly as possible and at least until the full depth of the blade of the shovel. That's all there is to it, you just very thoroughly kind of mix it, chop it, and as we keep dig it in. So, now we've mixed a generous portion of organic matter into our planting bed or the hole we're going to be planting our shrub. The next thing I did was I dug a hole that's roughly twice the width of the pot that this plant is sitting in and only to the depth of the root ball of the plant. Now this pot grown shrub is a little bit root bound, you can see that, the roots. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers to very carefully and very loosely loosen up some of those roots and you only do this if your plant is pot down and that is just fine. I'm going to set it carefully in the hole and you see the top of the root ball is at the same depth as the ground where I'm planting and now I'm going to set in. At this point I'm going to use a shovel and I'm going to backfill that nice rich organic soil in around the root ball. So we've got the plant in the hole at the right depth. We're going to take this amended organic soil and carefully fill in around the root ball of the plant like so. Be very careful to, uh, to do it slowly and carefully. You don't want to use the shovel to damage the root system of the plant. You backfill nicely. And again, the whole idea of putting organics in the soil is you're actually amending the existing or the native soil that you're planting in. And you see it goes fairly well. Now, we're pretty much at the original soil level that plant was in the pot. Matches up with the ground level in this bed. And we're almost finished. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of this excess soil, and you can use a shovel or your hand, to make a little dike around the plant. There should be lots of soil left over. And the idea of making this little dike is it allows the water, when you're watering, to be channeled in towards the root ball of the plant. So we're making a dike all the way around with some of the soil that come out of the hole because you've had you've added the generous amount of organic matter, so you're gonna have a little bit of excess soil left over. Make your dike like so. All that's left to do is we're gonna carefully water it in. Pour in enough water to thoroughly saturate the root ball and the soil in the planting bed, and you see that dike. Pulls the water there and directs it down to the roots. A newly planted shrub, a good heavy water, roughly twice a week, certainly every third or fourth day. Um, if it rains a little less, if it's really dry and windy, a little more. The idea is you just want to keep the soil moist. And that's all there is to it when it comes to planting pot grown nursery trees and shrubs. No transplant shock from lost root system, the whole root goes with the plant. So, if you like their video, 
back and join us again. That's the Glass House, 56 Creek Road, Chatham, Ontario.